how to have a better relationship with your basic workshop clamps. When you come out to your workshop, what you're looking for is probably a, an escape from the house. Uh, get away from the spouse, get away from the kids if you have them. Just get out into the quiet and the solitude of your workshop. Well, the last thing you want to do then is start having any kind of a disagreement or a, a dysfunctional relationship with your clamps. So let's, let's solve that. I'll be the uh, psychiatrist here today about clamp relationship. I definitely cannot tell you about how to have a better relationship inside the house because <laughs> if you follow my mode, you'll be in deep doo-doo. The two basic clamps, and they can certainly come in different sizes as you can see here. I've got a little four inch wood clamp. It's this one from Bessie. Has no clutch on it or anything. Uh, simply slides up and down the bar. To have a good relationship with that clamp, don't grab the handle and try to pull it up and down. It's short enough and if it's clean enough that will certainly work. But the best way is to grab it here near the shaft and make sure you've got it at 90 degrees and you'll find it slides really easily. Okay? Now the larger that style of clamp with just the bar with no clutch, the worse you'll trouble you'll have if you grab the handle and try to pull it apart. Yeah, it'll work, but in all likelihood what you're going to do is tilt that in or tilt that out and that's what all these grooves are here to engage. So don't tilt it. Don't grab it on the bar. Keep it at 90 degrees and I think you'll find it will slide without getting caught up. So that's for those types of clamps. You can step up and have clamps with clutches on them and I certainly prefer those over that style. Uh, again, don't grab the bar even if you release the clutch. I w it can uh, still be difficult to use. If you grab the bar area and you're likely to tilt it with your hand. Same problem as before. If you tilt it, it's designed to engage. So my recommendation is to have a good relationship with this clamp is see the little short end <clears throat> instead of the longer end. Keep your hand away from this area. Just always grab the little short end and you and this clamp will get along famously. Same thing is true even if it's a bigger clamp. The, the larger they are, the more grabbing the handle is a problem because there's more room to do tilting. So grab the short piece. Even if it's 24 inches long, grab the short piece. So, there's how to have a good relationship with those. A lot of people, I've seen them talk about being frustrated with their panel clamps. And I was too. And I finally got so frustrated, I stopped and I said, hey, why don't you study these things and see how they're actually supposed to work. So here's what I've discovered. First of all, keep them clean. Before I use them for a glue up, I grab my can of uh, car polish and I just quickly polish my bars. That's to try to keep glue from getting down into the grooves. And if glue does get on it, it's, it can come off fairly quickly. So keep it tuned up. Uh, keep this with beeswax on it and silicone so it twists easily. All right, step number one to have a relationship with your big Bessie panel clamp is to, when you want to use it for something, turn it counterclockwise as far as you can. In other words, what happens when I turn it counterclockwise is I'm putting this silver part of the brake here further into the head. And there I have more uh, capability. If I want to make them wider, make this area right here wider. In other words, if you want to make it wide, pull up and move. If you want to close it back up, it's just the opposite. Don't pull up and try to move. It won't. Push down. In other words, if you want it to become more narrow, then make this more narrow. And there you have how to have a decent relationship with your basic 
workshop clamps. I'm going to have a more detailed uh, video about all sorts of things that are possible with these Bessie panel clamps, so look for that. Small Workshop Guy, signing off. Thank <laughs> you.